Oh, have I gone past there it? There it is, the little hole. There you go. <laughs> I'm Meg from Our Illustrations. Is that alright? That's really good. It's lovely. I like that. <laughs> Welcome to the Cherrywood Podcast with me, Simon Burridge. And me, Rachel Burridge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Meg here from oh. Woo Illustrations. Hello, yeah. Meg. Hi. All the way from Surrey. Yeah. Blimey. How long did it take to get here? An hour? It's about two hours. Really? Yeah, because we're like Surrey, London. And it's um, rush hour and all, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You, you, not an A21 job, is it? Do you know what? I just followed the blue line on the map. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My granddad is always like, oh, down the M20, whatever. Yeah. I don't even know. 22, oh. whatever it is. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And I just followed the blue line. And then it <laughs> says I've get... arrived and I'm like, okay, But you, do you know what? Loads of people can't find the studio and mm. you found it without ringing or anything. Or did you try ringing and we just ignored no, you? No, we didn't. Yeah. Perfect. That's way That's amazing. Right. That's Let amazing. me give this yeah. another push because it was a while yeah. since I pushed it on the wall. How long do you reckon? <laughs> It's looking nice as well, and it could do if you I feel like it. I need to sit forward. It, won't hit, <laughs> it won't hit you, I promise. If it does hit you, I will delete all evidence <laughs> and go, no, never, stuff, never touched that. her. I she's got a massive bandage around her head for the rest of the podcast. She's got a backwards cherry wood <laughs> probe. I'll just bring on. it up for the next wedding, I do. <laughs> right, how long? Um, he's put new ta- have you put new tape on? 38 minutes. Oh, Ooh. blimey. Yeah. She, she's actually 38. quite confident in mm. it. <laughs> That's good. Oh, Very good. Yeah. 38 minutes. So we're going to go to our sponsors and then <laughs> we'll come back and then the timer will start after the sponsors. I always clip. <laughs> Just going to go to our sponsors. <laughs> Today's sponsors are Dimidishi Associates, Chartered Structural and Civil Engineers. Based in the UK with a worldwide reach. Visit their website on dimidishiassociates.com. New Digital, helping businesses build their online presence with web design, SEO, Google Ads and social media. Get 10% off when you quote Cherrywood today. Visit their website at nudigitalera.co.uk. Club Awesome, for autistic children and their families, a place where everyone belongs and fun knows no age limit. <laughs> and we're back. Do you know what? I click a lot. But I, do you know what? I couldn't click till I was about 30. Really? Do you know what? I told the kids once that clicking was them breaking their bones and their fingers. <gasps> that's so they because you're not. They're never going to do it now. They're like, that's gross, mum. <laughs> so they're like, no, I can't do that. The cruelest <laughs> thing I've ever heard a mum say to their, their kids is when you hear the ice cream van make the noise, that mm. means it's run out of ice cream. No, that's clever, though. <laughs> that is genius. <laughs> it's evil. Have you got kids? No. no you're, oh, actually, no. you're a youngster, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Should we talk about your age? No? Yeah. yeah okay. How old are you, darling? I'm 25. 25. Yeah. yeah. But I'm, <laughs> I'm closer to 30 than 20, so I feel like I'm a grown-up. Oh, I'm now. gutted for you. I'm <laughs> twice your age. <laughs> yeah, he's closer to 60, don't and, I? <laughs> and we've got your nan waiting in the wings. All right, nan? How's the tea? Say hello, <laughs> nan. T- tea's magic. <laughs> tea's <laughs> magic. <laughs> so if you start the bore us, we'll just get nan in. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> right, tell us about yourself, how long it's been going for, and anything else you want to tell us. So, I'm a teacher full time, mm-hmm. but I've always been very artsy. So, I was an agency, like learning support last summer, had no money. So, I was like, right, let's get this show on the road. So, I started basically just drawing people and then spoke to some friends, and they were like, oh, I'd, I'd love that as like a favour. And they were getting married. So, I've done a few for them before, done a few after, and then I post it on Facebook and fully booked for the next two and a half years. What? Oh my God. Well, two two years, nearly two and a half. So when you say you fully booked, what sort of, just just weddings or everything? I do everything, but weddings love me. Really? Yeah. Because we're all really chatty, so I do it. It's me that draws and then I have two well one or two that help me mm. so they do all the colouring in and then I finish it off with the detail Wicked. so it's all of us just like talking people to people helping you do yeah. it yeah right because we that. get more done there's yes. a lot of illustrators around so you're a teacher but... as well still aren't you yeah yeah so would you get them to colour it in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I've got a project <laughs> for you <laughs> <In trouble. laughs> I did all my because when I first started I bought like all my pens off Amazon yeah like I didn't start the business with any money at all because mm. I was, a, well, I was studying. Mm. I had no money to start it. Mm. So just got my cheap pens. So now all my kids at co- school have got them. Oh, so right. they've got all <laughs> <my first laughs> pens. But isn't it amazing the decent pens you can get like, 
Pasca Pasca Pen. Do you know what I'm on oh, about? Oh yeah, that's Pasca Pen. Uh, my love daughter, she loves. Oh, she's really gosh. good at art, isn't she? Oh, and gosh, oh, the, she these them. pens and the paint pens. Oh, oh, oh so my expensive. goodness! Like one pen. Tell me about it. It's always me buying them. Pens in there, and I'm yeah. like, how much? Yeah, but they're really good quality though. I'm yeah, really they're, they're like, is it acrylic paint? That you, it's almost like an acrylic. Isn't yeah, it? the Posca paint, pens yeah. they go over like any type of material, yeah. so I always use them mm. on top, so it like shows all the glitzy bits right. and stuff. Rachel's got BA honors in art as well. I love well, it. No, oh, hang on, no. I've got a lot of <laughs> pens. <laughs> pen. <laughs> I'm recruited. <laughs> I'll be sitting again. <laughs> I've got a new job site. She would love it. She would love it. And you get her off my hands as well. Now, if you want some free cheap flavour, I'd yeah. say get Tilly. We could do other podcasts while colouring New York stuff. Well, there you go. We've collabed <laughs> all of a sudden. All you hear on the mic is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we hold it up the yeah. Love it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Two hour drive every morning. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> right, so, um, so you started out you started out in education doing the, um, sorry, not as in you going to school education, but when you left school, is that what you did straight away? You started teaching or? Yeah, so I, I done my A-levels in art. Mm. So I done all of that. But before that, I'd got, um, I'd done like a pre-degree. So it was called National Saturday Club, which okay. is, they've got like loads of campuses around, but you get like selected to go forward. So I got put on that and it just like widened my whole like art experience I had the best art teacher at school so I just loved it and then finished my A-levels and then I went to another college and I done special effects makeup oh lovely oh right yeah yeah so I love doing that but I wasn't very good at like the face like your day-to-day makeup that didn't really float my boat what was you doing the effects on it (laughs) yeah I don't like the face (laughs) if you bend over well, perfect hang on. Shower you, scene. You've jumped the gun here <laughs> oh, no. um, because <laughs> I've done body painting. Ah, so right, I actually okay. did oh, wow. paint bums. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the full on, like yeah. the, the whole. So of... people were naked. Ah, right. And you put a lot of football kit on them and stuff. Oh, well, do you know what I mean? Like not a football the... kit. Mm. We're going a bit upper class here. We're going like. <laughs> I think Nan's shouting like... abuse <laughs> Or laughing. <laughs> if you turn around then, <laughs> without you knowing then she's done your bum <laughs> well we it was funny because so i done regional um competition in body painting so <clears throat> i was very doubtful that i was gonna like do well in that but i, I won it came oh first and then i done national body painting and i won that oh my goodness and we were in blackpool and i don't like rust so i was stressed the whole time <laughs> I've got a real thing about rust. Rust, really? Yeah. And you know Black you're made Tower of iron, don't you? You know like, you've got iron inside you, don't you? Yeah, but it's different. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> not being allergic to blood, really. So, so yeah. Blood. <laughs> and then, yeah, one nationals, and that was it, really. Wicked. So what sort of things did you paint on these yeah, naked people? Yeah, that's what I was So we got given a theme. So I practised, I'd done like a few portraits, but it's, you're very limited with your colours. Right. Mm. But I think that was probably my my like skill in it because I had an art background I could mix the colours where a lot ah. of people wouldn't really know where to start with the pigments and mm. stuff. So did you practice so on you yourself? were doing like pictures well? on yeah. them. You were doing pictures on them basically. Yeah basically. Right, okay. And then for regional national you had to do like the same one. So I done um like a Tokyo theme. The the theme was country so I done nice. like Tokyo so like the city kind of thing. Sort of. So they had all like um, quick arts, oh, cherry blossom. It was really cool. Wow. So how long? Sort of because I I've done A level exams and I know you sit there for like tw- literally I think seventy two hours. I think the, it's the exam a long was, time. and it's literally sitting there and coming back the next day and doing yeah. a little bit. And you look back and think, oh my god, I've done that much. Yeah. How much does like a whole human body take? Well, then? you get how capped long, on sorry. your time. So, oh, do you? Mm, so my regionals and nationals that was six hours. But the worst thing was you spend six hours, you love it, but your model is like, get this shit off of me. <laughs> so we were sat on a coach way on the on the way back from Blackpool. Tilly was my model. She was she was sat there like, I'm blue, I've got a fish over me, I've got a house on my back. So we were all there with wet wipes, oh, scrubbing no. her down. Oh, yeah. Sorry. That has me start. A little bit heartbreaking for you. It You're is. seeing all your work and then they're yeah, just doing loads yeah. of pictures. Oh, yeah, loads of, pictures. loads of pictures, but it was so worth it. So, would you say that sort of coy carp type thing is your style? Have you got a style? Mm, 
I think I did back in the time, like back in the day when I had time to actually yeah. like sit and do it. But where I teach and where I was doing uni, mm. I never really would sit and paint how I mm. used to do right, that. Okay. So I do have a style, but I don't have time to do my proper style. I yeah. Yeah. Like I could yeah. sit here and I could do a portrait, but it would take me ages because mm. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Right. Mm. So now with the illustrations, it's really nice because they're fashion illustrations. I it takes me sketches, like yeah. four minutes maybe to draw and colour them in. Mm. Like it's very like quick pace. Yes. Yeah. And they all look lovely. So Aww. it's like it's yeah, it's nice. Aww. So you did your art and everything like that when you were growing up. Yeah. How did you then divert into teaching or was that just by accident or So I always wanted to teach and it was between like, do I teach art or do I go to primary school? There's so many options mm. when you're that age. So um, I worked in Marks and Spencers for years and I was like, I don't really know what to do. I was doing education, it was locked down. So I was like, where do you start? So I just became like a learner support in um, like foundation learning, so special needs. Loved it and I was like, this is it. Yeah. So I finished my degree and now I'm doing my teacher training. Oh, nice. So yes, it's good. Oh, I love it. it. It's a good mix, yeah. Good. So now how... <laughs> Where did the name come from to start with then? Start Ooh, a business. Here we nice. go. I like that. No one ever asked me because when people say think like woo illustration, it's like woo. Ooh, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> but it's not. It's not. Oh, well. oh. So my name's Meg, but my nan and my mum have always called me Maggie Woo. Oh, right. So Aww. I'm Woo. Yeah. Oh, that's really sweet yeah. actually. Oh, but I it sounded good. There. When I was doing it, I was like, what the heck am I going to call myself? Like, <laughs> what do you call a business? Mm. Everyone's got like sketched by someone or yeah. da 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 da. I was yeah. like, oh, that's just so me. Yeah. Like, I just love I it. I love that. Because we've had one other illustrator on it that did that picture for mm. us. Yeah. And her it was Betty Love, wasn't it? Yeah. Betty Love illustrations. Yeah. And that's but nothing to do was, with names or anything. She was yeah. right. to do with Coronation she? Street. Yeah. And yeah. one of the actors goes in and goes, oh, I have a hot pot, please, Betty Love. Yeah. And she used to say that of her friend or yeah. something, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> it might not be 38 minutes, oh. but it was a nice little scream. Maybe it's half that. Uh, it's, it's that trying to tell us to stop talking about a competitor. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> <Shut> up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you do, you do far different things, because you'll be there on the day doing it. She does all the stuff way beforehand mm. i believe mm -hmm. so yeah, is that what you do you turn up is it you and someone else yeah so depending on the package it's me and one other or two others okay so someone goes takes all the pictures of the guests then air oh, drop it and right. then i just start drawing right so okay. i draw everything first and then as soon as they like my little team have taken the pictures they come and sit down they just start coloring oh, so right. you're putting the clothes okay. on so we're literally color. like yeah Wicked. but they do usually you... leave the hair to me because I suppose <laughs> you can't sit there and do it from like looking at someone and doing that yeah. because they're all over the place right yeah. so you can't go oh we need this person so if you've got the photos there you know you've got every single person yeah. in the, the yeah, wedding we, party and we have Saturday. seen someone at a wedding do that yeah. haven't we um, yeah. And it was two ladies, wasn't it? Mm. I think mum and daughter, I think, I doing it. Remember. Yeah. But yeah, um, it was, it was really clever. Going, mm. going around. It, and have you brought any samples that? with you? I've got you both one. Oh, you haven't? Yeah. But it's turned over. Are you ready to see it? Oh, you have to figure it out. Oh, my God. I look so slim. <laughs> well, we ate to please. <laughs> <laughs> That's wicked. So, oh, yeah. my God. That's amazing. Oh, so I had to you merge that? your your pictures because I only got top part. So yes, like, yes, I just yeah. guessed that you had good fashion sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. of course. I love that. That's wicked. <laughs> that? Oh, that's gonna have to go up on the wall. Uh, for yeah. once, I don't look like the bloke from Up, <laughs> which is always always a bonus. <laughs> I should have sent her that one. Damn it. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? That's really good. Thanks. So how many of these okay. you knock, well, based on how many guests, isn't it? So you've got 100 yeah. guests, you're knocking out 50 of these, mm. aren't you, roughly? Yeah. So we say for, a, we either base, well, when I started, we had so many different packages, mm. but it just made sense to have two. So you either have a half day or a full day. Mm. So in a half day, we can get about 50 to 60 guests. Right, okay. And if we, we're there for eight hours, then we can get about 100 Plus. Yeah. Any that we don't do, we just do in our workshop and post. Yeah, because I suppose you have to wait for evening guests to turn up sometimes, do you? Sometimes. But I always say the best thing, I think, is turning up before the ceremony. Mm. So you capture the guests, they go in, and then we've already got, started yeah, drawing, yeah. and then they're like, oh, wow, 
I didn't know you were actually yeah. like doing it. Yeah. yeah. And it's that other excitement in the bride and groom go off, get their pictures oh. or the newlyweds or newlyweds go and get their pictures and yeah. So we do keep you them entertained as well? So you you like the wedding party is there. Do you start do you tend to start with a bridal, you know, the bridal party so like the bride and groom or the you know the groom and the groom or the bride and the bride. Do you start with the main two people or is Can it sort of like I'm going to do this one first because I've got the photos here. Can I add to that? Oh, right, it's the photo. Yeah, but do you, do you always, you said you already started the bodies and things, haven't you? Have you started them before you've even seen the photos sometimes? No, no. Right, So, okay. well, it depends. If I'm doing like a bigger package, I, like a few weeks before, I sketch out all the bodies. Right. So I've got the proportions because I think if you're under that pressure to like yes. draw everything. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I've already drawn out what the person kind of looks, looks like. like. Yeah. So, so cool. yeah, well, just the proportions, and then I just draw it. But the amount of suits that I've drawn, I could probably just do it. Yeah, my eyes. yeah I'm <laughs> sure you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and oh, the I fashion as well. Oh, you oh, must love doing brilliant. some of the girls' yeah. dresses. That you can see. the brides yeah. be fussy? So that's not quite how my dress is. Have you ever had that before? I've never had it. Not to boast, but I've never <laughs> had it. <laughs> <laughs> Touch wood. Not that what you're doing. He takes us and goes, guess what happened? Yeah, you <laughs> yeah. Me. Oh, jinxed sorry. it. Yeah. But the nice thing is, is that they're fashion illustrations. Mm. So like when we done done um, a podcast with um, the Unfiltered Brides. Yeah. So we went on tour with them, which was really cool. I was so shocked. I was like, wow, this is actually happening. Oh. So we went there and um, there was some ladies that came over and they were like, we hate getting our picture taken because they, they didn't feel comfortable mm. with their body. They were it. like, I don't want this outfit being shown on my actual picture, but I've got it and I look amazing. Yeah. And it's not because I don't want to draw plus size because I'm a plus size myself, but you can just show the outfit it's, and your hair and yeah. everyone knows who they are. Yeah, That's absolutely. like the best thing. That was because I think so. you, it was um, you picked out your cousin, didn't you, when we were doing the yeah, wedding? Yeah, I knew who it was. And you were like, "That's my cousin." Yeah, yeah. And yeah. You, you picked her out. What happens if, like, because I know some really tall men and some mm. quite short females? <laughs> yeah. Just, what happens if, like, you just make it an L-shaped bit of paper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if you get there and go, "Oh no, I need to rub her down"? And or do you? Uh, you tend to draw these when you're there, though, don't you? So it's yeah. not as big a thing. So we we could do it, but to be honest. Because we're fashion, doesn't, doesn't really. Matter. I don't think it really makes a difference. Everyone knows what they're yeah. wearing, kind of thing. So I'm trying to work it where it. I'm putting it on the wall. <laughs> so like, I definitely stick it on the wall. <laughs> I just don't want you to get damaged. So I have to make sure there's a space below. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm gonna brilliant. get you. Oh, some we pins. can put post you some mats. Uh, so that don't fall off. Put it on here. Look. Even if we want to stand it up on no, the table. it's got to go on the co what I now call to the core wall. I don't know why wall. I've started calling it the core wall. <laughs> the core no, we'll put it up on the core wall, definitely. <laughs> I think so. Oh, so is there any outfits that you can remember, even guys or girls, mm. that you've drawn and thought, oh my God, this is really challenging because it's ruffly or, you know, really... She's going to say, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I can do anything. <laughs> do you know what? It took me a lot of practicing. But I think so my my mum's always been really good. Do you remember like Top Model? It used to be a book. And you used, and to, you used to add all the outfits yes, yep, on. Yep, yep. And I loved doing that. That was such like a, like a core cool memory. Does that yeah. all the time. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I would always do that. So I think it came quite naturally because I'm quite arty anyway. Mm. But it's all, everything I, because I draw all of it, it's all in my own style. So like the ruffle will always look a bit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like I've got my own little yeah. twist I've put it, on yeah. it, so I I kind of trust the process, and I've got like a, a bit of a rule with myself that even if I draw it and I'm like, oh, I've messed it up, I just on. work with it. Yeah, because if you're that fussy, you, could, you then could. you're literally just gonna go on the same one on the same yeah. one. Yeah. But actually, if you trust the process, you're gonna get an illustration. They all everyone always knows who they I are. I wish I had that jawline. I know that. That, you know what every man comes in he's like oh I look all right I look like that how else would you want to feel you, yeah. you're wearing your best suit yeah. and you look in the mirror before you go and you're like oh yeah and then you get there and they take a picture and you're like oh. and then I just give them that and they're like hey yeah. <laughs> look at me yeah. and they yeah. love it they walk around like do you ever get blokes say well, my mate's going to do one for my mate but mate, do this to it or do this to I it. haven't really but now I probably God. will <laughs> I so would do that. I'd say make his head really big for me or something like that. They always have all the ladies always say, oh, can you make my boobs look bigger and my waist look smaller? <laughs> and I'm like, 
I got you. <laughs> Don't <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> so they come out and they're like that, and they're like, yeah, that's me. Like, no. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, so oh, it's good fun. <laughs> so can you see yourself doing it like full time? I we think, literally are now by the sound well, of it. Well, yeah, literally every weekend. That I'm must working. be exhausting for you. You must work, because you work full time, I'm assuming, yeah, during the week. Yeah. And then you've got that at the weekends. That must be exhausting. But it's such a nice balance, because I love teaching, but I think I'm always in, like, teach mode. Yeah. Whereas the weekends, Chills. I'm like, mm. this is my thing. Yeah. Like, this is literally, like, just me. I'm not worrying about anyone else. I'm just concentrating on my own little business. Do you do, like, when you're at school and the kids are doing... Their, their lessons and stuff do you do do you doodle sometimes <laughs> I don't really have time to <laughs> sit there and go I'm, I'm usually I'm running around like put it down <laughs> I just colour margins in just completely solid margins yeah. waste loads we of need pen. a bit of pattern yeah, yeah. yeah. spice it up yeah. <laughs> tell you what else I do no not anyone's interested I do loads of squiggles yeah and then I colour in every other sort of overlap oh, that makes sense yeah 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 a little bit yeah. boring but that's what I do. <laughs> That's what I do. So where did you actually get like the inspiration of this then? Where did you think this is, you know, there's a niche in the market here and I would love to do this for weddings? Where where did that come about? Then? Well, I I doodled a bit and one of my friends was like, oh, it's really good. Like, I wouldn't mind a few of them. Mm. And I was like, yeah, feel free. And then I was kind of telling people, like, oh, I really like are enjoying doing mm. this. And I've. I typed in, I'd seen it on TikTok, like a live illustrator, but it was caricatures. Right, okay. Whereas we're like, I think a caricature sometimes can be a bit offensive. Like, uh, I, yeah, I would yeah. some, like, if it was at a wedding, I'd probably be like, oh, I don't know if I want to, because I don't yeah. want chubby yeah. cheeks and massive lips. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? It's it, a self-confidence yeah. thing, isn't it? You know? I'm, they I'm, pick out the worst I'm, bits I'm of used yeah. to it. Throw it yeah. out there, sort of. Yeah. I just want people to slate me. I don't. Don't care. Do you know what I mean? Make it as bad as you want. Don't tell me that. I'll have to change because that. Because my now. eyes, look, my eyes are literally like lines, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? So if someone does an illustration, it would just be a couple of lines. I mean, don't bother me. So yeah, but I know where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah it can be a bit offensive, but it's silly it's sometimes. What, you, when you sit down there, you know it's going to be yeah. offensive. And so, so people have asked you to do sort of name, um, not name tests, like favors and stuff like this in this type, in this style as well. That's yeah, a good idea as well. Yeah. It's something different. Yeah. And I mean, the guests must love that as well. Oh, they do. Like, I was so shocked that because we started maybe like August time, I kind of pieced the idea together. And then I done like a, it was a festival near where we live. And I put like £50 down to have a store. And I was like, you know, if someone comes over, someone comes over. Mm. I hadn't really shown mm. it off. Mm. I had a queue literally going through the market. Wow. And I was like, oh, my God, my pen's going to run out. I've oh, literally yeah. got, like, the cheapest thing. But everyone was like, it's just amazing. Oh. And they're like, oh, can we make it into a thank you card? Or can yeah. we do this and that? So I do all of that stuff, but just not right now because yeah. it's wedding season and mm. I'm, like... Can't catch a break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got an idea. Go oh, on. Oh, no. <laughs> which I'm about to tell about 20,000 people. <laughs> but um, do you take a picture of all of the ones that you've drawn yeah. for the wedding? Yeah. Why don't you do a group photo and offer an extra price for a group photo? Then you can superimpose them digitally in, in the order of like. Do you might already do that. Do you already do that? I don't do that. <laughs> You're welcome. A tip. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I did think about it. Someone had like requested it. But then it's like, so I could do that for like a Saturday, for example, mm. because I'd have to book it out of my weekend mm. to do that, mm. where I'm I'm teaching full time. So it just comes down to timing. You can always pay something like a, a, a photo editor to do it for you. You just send oh, all the true. digital ones, say, yeah. I need this done. There's the bride. Obviously, they're the bride and groom. These are the parents. Yeah. And you just take them all digitally, print it I out. I have a question, though. But oh, then you won't, uh, you won't see their outfits. You a won't, lot of... Yeah, but you won't see their outfits, but you will sort of know they're there, won't you? But also, really the they? photographer takes a group picture as okay. well. All right, just an idea. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just slashing your But the way, I see, the way I see it is that they no, the couples never get to see them pictures again, really, do they? they oh, you them. mean of these? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. True. I, thought, <laughs> I thought you meant... Oh, my God, I'm stressed. What did you think I was talking about? The cake? Oh, I'm oh, a bit dipsy. <laughs> So what I'm suggesting... I thought you were talking about the photo the that couples, we take. The couples can... 
Right, okay. Oh, no. Mm. no. Yeah, no, that no, makes the drawings. sense. You yeah, t- I like you, that. So you take a no, picture. but now everyone's going to copy Well, it. no one's going to know because they can't work out what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> you were saying one, but you were saying the other. And I'm like, They've totally I'm confused. Just <laughs> I'm just laughing. They're laugh. probably going to give it up. So you take a photo, right? You take a photo of your drawing. Yeah. Then you send it to, I don't know, someone like me or H. <laughs> and we will be able to cut around this and then create a group photo, but with the illustrations. I love it. But and that's extra price. Yeah. Again, there you go. I mean, you will only so see. It's like for a hundred pound, it could be on an A3 size digital. Of people in the background. <laughs> on some people, but the important people like mum, dads, and nans and bridesmaids will be at the front. Mm. All right, it's okay. not going to be a perfect group photo, but you have the bride and groom in the centre. Yeah. You get other people, and then you stick in the other guests. Then you know yeah, they also true. ran. Or even, the even if you take a quick snap on your phone, or one of your girls takes a photo on your phone of one of the group shots. So you know where to place these. Oh, yeah. all I these knew you were going to say that. But what if they're not standing next to each other on the group shot? I wouldn't sure go that far. I wouldn't go that far. Just just put them, pair them up behind. Good idea, isn't it? Yeah, I wish you just didn't say it live because now I'm not going to do it. We'll here. just delete this. <laughs> oh, Nan's knocking. <laughs> You're right, Nan. It's good, Nan, isn't it? <laughs> See? Getting yeah. the thumbs up from yeah. Nan. Oh, am I now business partner, Nan? Perfect. It's another, thing. It's another string to my bow. I just hope Lord Sugar listens to this because well, I really want to be on The Apprentice. Do, do you? you? No, it's literally like a big thing. I think oh. about it a lot. Oh, we were cheering you on. But, oh, my God. Do I just you, really do you get frustrated him? with the idiots that are on it? I don't. My granddad, oh. me and granddad, didn't Drive we? Now we used to watch it like every every time it was on. Mm. It was like our thing. Now we go, oh, I can't watch it. Silly bugger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm there. like, will you watch it if I'm not a silly bugger on yeah. there? But I would be. I'm. I would be that person that everyone's like, oh, get her off. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, I, I imagine under the pressure, you just go blank. I imagine. Yeah. Well, right. it, it's because they have. I'm assuming they film it. Obviously, it's a series, but they have tasks every week. I, I, it, is they, it a week it's back or is it back. so it's every day, day yeah, after that. so yeah. they're so what they're there for a couple of weeks sure yeah yeah I, can't, so I don't imagine. know how many series there are episodes sorry how many episodes there are I think there's about 14 it's yeah, about, I yeah I think so it's two weeks worth of there's about eight candidates on either side I think mm. so yeah 14 mm. to 16 weeks maybe um but yeah I mean I don't think I would be able to come up if you know I got to the end 14 ideas every single day of You'd the week. You'd just be knackered, wouldn't you? You know, if they're saying, now design a car, now yeah. design something new. I now think I'd just I reckon have they to get a, a couple of days before. off. Surely, it's, a, you know, a couple of days on, Yeah, but even a couple off. of days, your your brain is That's so why you're not on it, Rachel. <laughs> Overstimulated. You never know. Creation. <laughs> I'm going to sign up for it, just to spite <laughs> you now. <laughs> No, I think you're fired. I, I think I would cry. Or even turned up. What if you said you're fired? You'd cry. No, it'd be like just started having a go at me, saying you're shit. You're the. I'd be like, oh, you, should be used, sorry. you should be used to it I by now. I say it to you all the time. That's very true. <laughs> I, I, I think we should both go on there, but be on separate teams. Separate team. <laughs> no, that oh. would be so funny, wouldn't it? Oh, I'd be like, I'm gonna crush you. <laughs> She walks in. I'm the boss. Oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> I think we should. This. Okay. I think we should get all these pictures and merge them into one big picture. I do, ya. yeah. Yeah. you are fired. Good idea. Good thinking. Oh, but could you handle that? Like, could you handle his? I would criticism cry. And... Oh, I'd cry. Blob story. Yeah. I would. I would be absolutely bawling my eyes out. I always get called the teacher that would cry oh. at work. All because right. like I am, I'm that on I am that language teacher on that would edge. literally cry. That mm. yeah, I'm Aww. the videographer that would cry, and I oh he cries all the time. All the time. It's yeah, a I just mm. yeah. I mean, I, like, I mean, speeches. it's a good thing speeches. you're you're in touch with your emotional side, feminine side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll say that. No, <laughs> since I've had a girl, a little girl, I had three boys before I had a girl, and yeah. uh, since I've had a, a nightmare. Yeah. So everything is said on the speeches. You just put yourself in that shoes. In 20 years' time. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's me at the speech. I'm like, yeah, um, don't drip. No, don't get your head on the illustrations. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. So what, I'm going to go back to being normal, sorry. <laughs> what is the most challenging part of it, would you say then? If you had to, literally, anything that you do with, with Woo illustrations, what mm. is the most challenging part of it, do you say? Um, I think it's all fun. So like, I can find the good elements in it, but like I'm really not great at social media. I don't know if it's I like TikTok. The f- oh, the it's thought of TikTok. On, I'm literally like, it's what a full time job. Yeah, it drives and me I've nuts. just started doing like the voiceover things mm. for the mm. reels, and 
my partner's itch like no, do it again. <laughs> it's like you need to. So I'm there, like, hi. My, and I just, I just yeah. can't do it. So I, I think that's really challenging. It is that side of it. I mean, we we have to do it, don't we? And we, yeah. we're lucky that we do like try and push it out. As you much do a as lot possible. of company voiceovers because you've got a posher voice than me, haven't you? Mm, sometimes. <laughs> it depends. My can, voice is slowly rubbing off on you. Really. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But it's it is hard mm. keeping on top of it because, like Simon said, it is a full time job. Yeah, and a lot of students. Students now are going into content creation and um, like Instagram and stuff like that to yeah. be able to sit there and do it as a full time job. As well, well. We, we had one of our first weddings this year is with a mm. content creator. Mm. Like she, we, we were filming and Rachel yeah. was doing the photos. Then this girl, she was lovely. She came all the way from Newcastle. Yeah, they're um, so popular. Well, South, uh, what's it called? Sunderland, same mm. thing. And. Um, they're all going to hate me for saying that. <laughs> exactly. And yeah, she's just with her phone mm. doing all this stuff mm. where they're throwing it and throwing the... Um, okay. I think the good and... thing with content creators is that if I was a bride, which I will be one day, God, you know, keep on nudging. But <laughs> well, what's his name? Let, let's get... Let's... What's his name? George. Come George. On, George. Get your finger, finger out. out. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and where come and do your illustrations? Uh, uh, you no, video. <laughs> You've oh, not seen my. You you have, you've never up. seen my etchings. <laughs> <laughs> Nan knows what that means, etchings. When you say etchings, Nan, don't you? Yeah, that's but, um, old-fashioned euphemism. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see me etchings, Nan? <laughs> she knows. She knows. <laughs> but yeah, they're they're so popular because. If you're a bride, you want to see your pictures the next day. Yeah. You don't like nowadays. Everything's so quick. It's instant. Yeah. You don't want to wait weeks to go through your album mm. do you mm. yeah no you're right but then it's mm. like i've i mean i've spoken to photographers and videographers who are like i'm not doing i'm not working alongside a content creator really yeah well. because the the photographers like posing them mm. but then the content creators they're like it, it's still I, we still get the same money yeah. why are they even bothered well yeah. We still get the same. We're paid exactly the same. We don't We don't get told uh, the content creator has done exactly the same pose as yeah. you, so we're not going to give you that money. Yeah. Mm. You've already paid me. You've mm. already paid me before the wedding. Mm. Yeah. If you want, I don't, I also don't care if, and we invite them. You'll get a guest that's mm. keen on photography. Mm. Yeah. And then we go away with the bride and groom. We see this person yeah. and they're hanging back. We go, come with us. Yeah. yeah. You might it's take, nice, you may take it? one really beautiful picture that's mm. far better than something we've just mm. taken yeah. and we don't care because yeah. that's photography. Mm. Yeah. Photography sometimes is, is fluky. Mm. Yeah. And um, we even say to them that if we can't guarantee the quality of the, the digital image they yeah. give us, but mm. if they want it in their album and someone else has created it, if they're given the permission, then we put it in their album. Yeah, that's lovely. Do you know what I mean? But I some just... people just don't do that. No, no, no. They they don't. Just, and it's insecurity, is what it is. Mm. Insecurity. Yeah, but I don't mind. Like, um, I won't name names or anything, but she was the, the woman that was the content creator. She was lovely. Lovely. And she mm. sat there and she went. She kept saying, "Do you mind if I do this?" I'm like, "It was your job as well." You know, yeah, all three yeah. of us have got to work. Yeah. So I, yeah, I I and, posed them and she did take some of the photos. And yes, they are online now because I've seen them from the bride. Yeah. But you know, it's that quality image is online, but that's what she does. Her work is for online. My work is for an album mm. or a photo mm. on the wall. So it, it, it's actually different outcomes. Yes, it's the same picture, but it's actually different outcomes than yeah. the final product. So yeah. I don't, I don't It doesn't mind. bother me at all. And you mind. can tell that she's ex experienced yeah. um, some rough pasts, you know, yeah. with, with uh, photographers and videos. It's yeah. such a shame, though. Mm. I think it's so important in, like, whatever industry you're in mm. to, like, be close. Mm. Even, like, I've got one of my friends who's an illustrator, Stacey. We only met, like, from Facebook because we mm. both illustrate. Mm. Our styles are totally different. Would you go and dry her pens out when she's not looking? <laughs> she goes, <quick>. <laughs> <laughs> Numb all the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, she paints. <laughs> and that's take oh, all the water. Turn <laughs> on the <tap. laughs> No. <laughs> no, but she's brilliant. But our styles are so different. Yeah. And, like, we'll, if we both have, like, a bad experience, not a bad experience, but something that may be has knocked us back or it's something that we're both not like used to it's not our mm. usual kind of whatever vibe we'll support each other through mm. that and mm. i think it's so nice it so shows and then you've got your other people that do something similar very similar really protective you know mm. and it's like just message me yeah and say like oh 
da, da, da. can I? Mm. I can like this thing. Yeah, of course you can. Just yeah. copy it. Do you want my logo as yeah. well? <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> yeah, I did that. <laughs> but yeah, no. It's. I think it's really important. Have you ever had anything go wrong? Like sort of maybe pens, with pens run out, or you get a colour and you just think, oh, that is just not the right colour for that dress, and screwed it up and started again. No, she hasn't. She just carried on with it. She's yeah, already told no, you this. But, but what happens if she's coloured in a dress and then? She thought it was like a greeny. She colour, would style it, it out. It dries because pens dry a different colour. Yeah, don't they? yeah. And you've looked at it and thought that's not the right. I colour. don't think mm. it matters too much if it's off. Do I you? think it it depends. I mean, it's happened maybe more near the beginning, but I've learnt my lesson. Okay. I've just got to stick with it, and like, I've got so many different colour pens. Like, I've got like all the charts, so I can match them all up. The only there and be like that. Do you run up? To, <laughs> do you run up to people and just yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do that again. Yeah, well, there was one one girl I remember because I was actually like. <laughs> uh, what do I do? It was like a, it looked champagne, but in the pictures it looked like a green. It was like you know them like shimmery, oh, shimmery. yeah, funny, yeah. yeah. And I was like, excuse me, can you come with me? And I was like, can you choose what colour your dress is? <laughs> because like what, like what can you do if it's different colours? Yeah, I bet dress? you hate yeah. them two tone sequin things, don't you? Oh, I love a sequin. Oh, God, I love so it. So what do you do? Do you just look like? I don't know, do a, a, a willy or something, you know? Because <laughs> you know you can flap them up and it's a different colour, can't oh, they? Got you had a dress like that, it was gold and black. Yeah, I think. it was a, a dress like this actually, and then it was all black, and then if you do that, that's the, the one I've nearly done. Yeah. But I think because, like, I just know you and just kind of just, just do, do a little it. bit. Of, yeah. Just do a little bit of I'll the bottom, do it, for example, if I had that dress, should I tell you what I'd do? Yeah, go on then. Okay, if you're <laughs> it's always best as it's a podcast. <laughs> So I'd do like a gold, <clears throat> like a goldy yeah. kind of champagne colour. Mm. Then I'd use my one of my black fine liners and kind of like dot cross it, cross it over. Oh, right. okay, yep. Okay. Cross it over, and then I'd get like a one of my gold pens and, and just, just dabble it. So you could see like a bit of the black, but you'd mm. have yeah. Mm. Like sort of like, mm. Right now, the, the, no, this is a, a genuine question. You were talking about colours and not being the right colour and mm. stuff like that. How accurate these days with the expensive pens is the plastic outer colour to the pen that's inside? inside? Sorry to say right. <laughs> right. You've got a load of pens yeah. and they've all got different colours. Yeah. And where are those colours? They're on the actual pen, aren't they? Oh, they're on the ends, the nib. The, on the, the nibs. On the so, you've got, I, my so you're actually seeing the nib that's going to do the painting? No. Right, so they have got a colour that's painted on them. They're white. And then... <laughs> <laughs> am I answering the right question? You are. I don't know what he's so talking So if I've got a right. pen, can I borrow your pen? Right. Yes, But right. You go to B&Q, you see this paint you like, and you see the sticker, mm. and then you paint it on the wall, and it's slightly off from the sticker. Mm. How accurate is what the colour you're seeing on the oh, pen? not very. Oh, right. <laughs> After all that, <laughs> even the expensive ones are the same. Some of them are, but... I don't trust them. Right, so it, you you're never going to get the same thing because they can't make that many plastic tops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. It's so more of a batch thing than yeah. anything, I yeah. imagine. But you know, it's a yellow. But then, is it actually? I, I so never do you have a little test tops. bit of paper? Yeah, but I've to be honest, we we've used the pen so many times. You know. We sit there and I'm like, can I have a B two ninety? Oh <laughs> my like, god, you yeah. nerds! I no. <laughs> She is, and when one of my wooers call him a wooer, ah, so a wooer, <laughs> and she's always like, Let's woo it up, girl. <laughs> I love it, even oh, I'm going off subject, but no, even if we, even if we, want, even if we to... go for food and then bring the food, it's like, Woo, <laughs> it's all the time. Um, I can't remember what I was gonna say. <laughs> What was I saying? You were talking about the numbers of the pens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And And when I started, I was like, oh, can I have R18? Can I have da-da-da? And she was like, Meg, you're literally not telling me what to do here. (laughs) And I'm like, right, okay. And I'll be like, this is da-da-da, da-da-da. So I wrote it all down, the codes of, like, the pens that are most common. And she was like, I will never be able to memorise them pens. I was like, okay. She's been doing it about (laughs) two months, and she's like, R18, please. <laughs> I'll have a Y7. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Is a C3PO gold yeah. colour? They should do that. Oh what, a God, C3PO? Very... Gold. Oh, yeah. mm. But I've only or just realised they've all got different numbers, my pens. I've only just worked out. I think literally from sitting here, I've just worked out what they mean. What? Go on in. Give, so, us, give us a... Run off a couple of codes. We'll try and work out what it means. Oh, oh, this is good. <laughs> oh, I think I've worked I it out. Didn't... 
Is it the color codes that you get on like a computer? The RG and um. Oh, we'll give it a go. Y seven. Yellow. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is yellow. Seven. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's yellow. a light. So it's a oh, light okay. yellow. Yeah. yeah. Right. So yeah. it was all right. I'm ready. Are you ready for this one? <laughs> okay. Yeah. R eighteen. R eighteen. So it's a red. So it's like a deep red. Wrong. Oh. Is it a rosy red? Like a like a mix R18. between red and white. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like a really light <laughs> pinky yeah. orange. This one so actually. Does it get lighter the higher the number, or lighter the lower the number? And how, how high have the oh numbers God, gone I've for you? I think now. How high have the numbers gone? <laughs> I've had a long it. day. <laughs> I've been up since five. No, four o'clock I've been up since. All games out. Four o'clock. Right. So don't give I me that. I can't really try and work this out. Because... Uh... Well, you should have gone to the toilet then, then. <laughs> she thinks her shoes have got pee in them. Has that tea gone right through you? Got you? Five. <laughs> See where I get it from. <laughs> <laughs> you should have asked. You can imagine the drive here. We've got a toilet in the other room. It's not a problem. So if I said to you what colour was this, you would know what colour Yeah, B290. Blue 290. So it's a dark blue. Yeah. So if it was a blue 10, that would be very light blue. Don't have B10. Oh. <laughs> we have you just so don't, you just don't have the full collection love that's what it is <laughs> oh blim it do <laughs> don't start at my pencil right <laughs> so how, how big is like the case you take with you 320 pence oh my goodness 320 pence and then I have a set I Copies. think 180 and then I have another set yeah, of but about like, in the car no with, with you oh, yeah but you've got like, to have replicas you know? you, is there one pen you use all the time like black obviously I've got a new love for a colour Right. WG01. Oh, so I do like that. What, that just slightly off white, <laughs> off grey colour. It is. I do love it. <laughs> like I do that. love WG01. Oh, I love it. That's my favourite at the moment. Mm. And that's the only pen that now is, you know, I'm thinking, oh, I need to change this. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's running out. It's stressing me out. I have got four spares, so it's fine. <laughs> so you can buy them singly. You can, but they're from Germany. Really? And I didn't. What's that? What's the M um, thing called when you got to bring it abroad? Like export the, the charge. Yeah, so you, for um, the um, yeah export charge. Yeah, export charge or um, um, import charge. Import, uh, import tax. Like tax. Um, no, like customs tax. <laughs> customs. Like, customs. Customs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> there you go. Cool. <laughs> we got there in the end. I love the way we was all making that. We yeah, knew what um, we were talking yes, about. Yeah. yeah. Well, my first, I I saved. Well, I saved that for my first set. I love, thought you were like it was a rescue. I, like, I thought you had a rescue pen. You <laughs> saved, saved it. Saved <laughs> rescue. I found this one in Germany, and it was just. It was just rolling around just on the table by itself. So I thought, no, my I, pens I, I, come from Germany and it was the Black Friday sale. So I was like, oh, right, I'll buy them straight from the website. Well, Bloody actually blacks, pay though, 90 quid <gasps> because of the customs yes. charge. Oh, I thought no. I could have got next day delivery from Amazon. Yeah. Instead, paid less. But instead, it took them about a month to get there. I used to do oh. that. I used to go on like eBay and buy mm. golf clubs and I'd buy this one golf club and it was like 50 quid cheaper yeah. than buying it in England. And then the tax was 70 oh, quid. Isn't it? <laughs> it's literally like, no. It's like, why do I try? Why am I so stingy? It never works out. Literally. So I, have you ever had, like, been drawing and thought, oh, my God, I've got, like, I'm running out of this pen. And then, I haven't, oh, no. I but I can get ink refills. But I think I'm just oh, going to do a batch order. I'm, I'm going to treat myself. Do you have mishaps where it's all over your hands? Oh, and... yeah. Oh, yeah. And There's, it's actually and then just have you come off with it. And then have you off. put it on an illustration without realising? Like, oh, yeah, no. but it's an illustration. Don't really matter. So we just did a load of it. Oh, we're meant to do yeah. that. <laughs> like fingerprint painting. <laughs> this is hairdress. That's another there thing they do, There might be like it? the odd part, but I think... you seen that with the do the tree without any leaves and then the guest's oh, yeah. thumbprint. Oh, we've done it. that. Well, I say we've done <laughs> she that. She hates it. <laughs> I can tell she hates it. Yeah. 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 Well, it's taken over Well, it's because when you see that, you know you've lost money, didn't you? Yeah. Well, if you do it in preschool. Then... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was bad, wasn't it? <laughs> No, but it is, you, only, you look, look, it's that. not as if you've got an artist in there you're taking the mickey out of because it is yeah. literally just it's a tree so and guests do it. You know what yeah. I mean? Guests do it. So we, yeah, I think we, did it, we did it for um, our nephew um, had a christening 
And that's we did lovely. that. So then he put it in. And we did it for the school. Look at you backpedalling. No, but no, no. That's, I think a Christmas or something yeah. like that. That kind of stuff Kiddies, is nice. We, yeah. we actually did it for Tilly's teacher as well, didn't we? Our headmistress, when she left year six, because there was only two classes. Yeah. And we got all of the kids to put their thumbprint and write their name by it. And we put it in a frame and the teacher's got it in her office. See, now, things the head like that, I, got, I yeah. get that. I've, I've made stuff like that for mm. family before. But for a wedding. No. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Right. I'd rather one of them. Maybe yeah, like a yeah. group, maybe a big group photo would be a good idea. Or maybe yeah. a big group like thumbprint. <laughs> oh yeah, we can make it their heads. <laughs> yeah. draw, mm. draw the hair on top. <gasps> yeah, little potato people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, God. Or you could get baby potatoes doing it, save your painting hands. Stamp it with yeah. a fork. So do you, right, I'm going to go back to questions Slightly now. off base. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, is there a wedding, a, like a really memorable wedding that you've done or a huge wedding? Or, or your first one? Yeah. Oh. Can you remember your first and how I nervous can. you was? Oh, I literally was nervous? drawing. I was like, shit, this is going to take me so long. <laughs> Everyone looks like a windy day. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. Were you on your own? No. Right, my mum okay. came with me for that one. So I was really... <laughs> Did you hear that? Bubble. It's come through my earpiece. <laughs> Bubble. <laughs> that was um, on the Titanic. <laughs> so yeah, the first one I done was oh, I, I think I'll never forget that. I so when I started, I gifted a couple. Mm. So if it was in 2024, I just gifted them. So yeah, it was scary, but it built my confidence. I was like, oh my god, everyone actually really loves them mm. so much. But I took a long time, so now I limit myself to time on them. Yeah. Because I need to get a certain amount done in okay. four hours. You confused me a little bit. You said if it was in 2024, you mm. gifted it. Oh, 2023. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, oh God, so you, no, not this year. So you've only been going a year? Not even a year. Mm. All right, I missed They've that bit. Like, yeah. Oh, my God, you're shocking. I know, totally. <laughs> August. August last year. Blimey. Yeah. But I hadn't actually started like doing weddings. So the then. first few weddings My you first did... wedding was November. Right. So the first few you did, you did for nothing, basically. Yeah. But it's a good bit of like footage of for course, Instagram yeah, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And I think them videos like made me grow. And would mm. you say that that's what's got you to work Instagram? Oh, yeah. And Facebook. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, but to be fair, I don't post that much. Was you trained on what to do and how to do it? No. You just went for it. Never watched a video on it or anything. But, she, but she's really good at watching The Apprentice. She's got all the business sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is true. <laughs> Get Alan, to, get to do, I have to get you to do the shorts of this thing. I'll just get AI to do I'm really it, which is rubbish. rubbish. With social media, though, it was mm. just like fluke. It's, mm. it's a, like walking through um, treacle in it doing social media. Mm. It's just, oh, and you've just got to be so like, yeah. Oh, woo. we don't. You got to be woo. Just, just, <laughs> yeah, we're not. We're just ourselves, aren't we? I'll just put. I post anything, which is probably why it's not. <laughs> <laughs> our, Instagram, our Instagram, our Instagram, calling. Our YouTube's really good, one hundred and twenty-five thousand. But our Instagram, yeah. Well, do you yeah. hashtag? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, it, hashtag, but there's, it's all about doing the right <laughs> yeah. hashtag, isn't it? As well. Oh, I, that, I just can't because I'm like, if no one likes it, then it's just embarrassing. It's, it's <laughs> just so. I, I don't understand, and I don't understand TikTok either. No, they do it's... say concentrate on one. Where yeah. we've really concentrated on YouTube, mm. and the others we're just sort of just piddling there. along. They just happen to be there. Mm. Yeah, I've got right. another question for oh, you. Rachel. Sorry, um, what? what is? Let's say a bride and groom come up to you, and they're a bit, do we, don't we, with this? How how would you persuade them and sort of say to them, you know, come and have me? I don't. Of, you don't. No. So they always. I come think and if find you like you. my work, then you'll you'll trust me and you'll do it because mm. I think. For me, if I was like debating on someone, but I wasn't hundred percent. The last thing I want is them messaging me like, "Oh, do you still want it?" Because mm. mm. I obviously don't. Yeah. I, if yeah, you want true. it, like mm. I've had couples message me and say, "I love it. I've not got the money right now, mm. but I hundred percent want you." Mm -hmm. and I'm like, "Don't worry about it. Just come back to me." Yeah. Mm. And if the date's gone, then yeah, I'll it's do gone, them. It's gone. And yeah. you yeah. just send me the picture. And, and you I'll should do say it. that it's as well. Just... You know, come back to us if I'm still free. Then. Mm. Yeah, it, you know, because just it. saying that if I'm still free, it yeah. makes them think, oh, I'm maybe I should uh, yeah. be a bit sharper. But I think even at the beginning, when when I done these gifted things, I said you'll have mm. to pay for the um, mileage. So I had a couple of people, and it was like fifty p a mile. Like it's mm. not much. Seeing mm. as that's like 
my pens drawing 40 gas. Yeah. Like, that's a lot. And yeah. it's a lot of time. Imagine how much petrol dragging all them pens around there. Oh, well, exactly. My poor feet at the time. <laughs> like, yeah, I still like... had wheels on the car. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, and like £140 to them, they were like, oh, like, I think that's a bit much. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm not going to, mm. I, I can't just do it out like with a loss with you them. know Absolutely. it's not gonna happen and then they messaged me like months later like oh can i have the gift and i'm like oh, no <laughs> that's long gone yeah. Yeah. like yeah. it's I'm, it's not you like yeah. if you trusted me in the beginning mm. and even if it was for a 2025 wedding i'd be like yeah because mm. you trust in me mm. and that's like part of it you mm. know so yeah yeah so you don't have to talk about prices unless you want to give a ballpark figure of what it would cost to have you at a wedding. It's up to you. You don't yeah. have to. I don't really ask any guests that usually. But. Yeah. So it depends on like what you kind of want. So my half day and my full day, it's about £800 for a half day. So that's right. four hours, but it's 50 guests drawn. Right. And that covers like everything. If we, for example, were there for four hours, we got 50 done at three and a half hours. Then I'll just keep drawing, mm. and whatever yeah, pictures yeah. we got, I'll just post. Mm. So it's like you start get, doing a staff. You're not going <laughs> to. <Bath yeah>. <laughs> no, honestly, I the amount of photographers I've done. Oh yeah, I yeah. can draw a camera with my eyes closed because <laughs> they're like, <laughs> "Oh my god," <laughs> and they love it. So um, brilliant. Yeah, magicians and people like that. Yeah, literally, yeah. I love that. So, so, so do they all have chair with podcasts written on them? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> got to wrap it. Um, if someone, well, I've got to word this in the correct way. If oh, no. someone, here we go. It's another um, cup. No, if someone was disabled or yeah. in a wheelchair, anything like that, obviously you have to modi modify your designs. Oh yeah. How how quick could you do that? How quick could you do a the turnaround? Really? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. exactly. I've always got I I draw like as many like it wouldn't Outlines. even be the body. I just draw like top of the head, the waist, the feet, just right, so okay. I can get like them proportions in. Mm -hmm. But I've got blank, like most of my case is just blank. Mm. So I can draw a wheelchair or a baby or whatever Wood, it is. Yeah, leg, yeah. Like, just a leg missing and stuff. Yeah. Why are you laughing, Rachel? What, why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm not laughing. I just. I, do you do children as well? Are children yeah. the same size or is children like No, this they'll be smaller. Oh, yeah. They won't all be giant. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, this is me and this is my child. That'll mess up my group photo. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. No, I'll just shrink it. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh wow really? this is amazing so where do you think you're gonna how do you think this is gonna progress in the future just obviously you're booked for the next two years yeah. which is amazing yeah, it is. Got, and you don't have to tell us but have you got other ideas in the pipeline you know what are you gonna evolve or maybe a massive group photo about, you know yeah. sort of maybe <laughs> um i i think this is like where it's going like there's a couple of things i think of and i'm like oh that would be nice but I just love this. Mm. I think because it's my little baby, I just mm. love it. And like, I've got a wedding in France in two weeks, oh. which oh is really God. exciting. And yeah, I'm, I mean, it's just like, it's just crazy mm. how like all of a sudden it's kind of happened. But um, I'm literally in Wales all the time. The Welsh love me. Really? <laughs> yeah. I think it's because I like, I like Ness. I can go up and say <laughs> <laughs> I, I just um, love the... It's going to sound really horrible, but it's not meant to. It's the simplicity of it. Yeah. It's not the, oh, I've got to make sure every detail's right. It's just the pure simplicity of it. Yeah. And I, I love that. I think it's so cool. Oh, thanks. So cool. Yeah. I mean, it's nice because everyone always knows who they are. Mm. Like, that's the best yeah. part of it. Mm. And, like, there's always that one point in the wedding where I'm like, oh my God, what if they don't know who they are? But <laughs> they, I, I'm at the point now where I'm like, no, they, they all they know, know who they I are. Think, yeah, you've got a good chance when you've got a couple, haven't you? Yeah. But if you've got a couple of blokes by their self or wearing oh, the same suits, it. they know. They walk up and they're like, yeah, I look sick. <laughs> <laughs> so would you draw them then singly? So then, or yeah, would they, yeah. like, say, pair up or anything? Yeah. Right, Billy no They don't have to be, it. like, a, a woman and a man. Like, I can do men or whatever. Mm. Literally whatever. Have you done a themed one? Like, if they're wearing a wear Star Wars or something? No, but I've... Well, I've actually drawn Elvis. Oh, right, okay. That was really fun. Yeah. I went to a, I think, I don't know what year it was. I want to say 15. I don't know. Oh, well, I thought, I thought you meant like. Mate. You've been good going a long time. <laughs> it's like a 50s theme. Is like that yeah, Elvis yeah. and all that? No. no. Well, yeah, well, he, he went something. through it. He went through that. Yeah, it was so. Elvis, and then I had to draw like Andy Pandy. 
Oh yeah, yeah. It was all a bit crazy, Stuffy but I goats. loved it. All very like retro. Yeah. So that was like the first thing. And like mm. someone was dressed as a bear and I was like, whoa, this is going to be nice. I'm going to have to put ease on this one. <laughs> so do you do many wedding fairs? Do you know what? I did. Mm. However, I don't know. Okay. From now. From the last few weeks. Okay. Because I think wedding fairs, I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, if you, what you think about this. But when you go to a wedding fair, you're quite fresh mm-hmm. in the wedding stage. So, like, you want a venue, oh, yeah. a photographer, you don't know what you want. a videographer, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and your budget is all you're thinking of. But I'm that budget that's left over. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So, mm. people, maybe they'll remember me, mm. but they're not going to be like, right, that's the first thing. Mm. Yeah. They want a photographer first. Yeah. And they want. Yeah. Well, everything. 10 years ago, that, that used to be me. Yeah. Uh, video, I was the leftovers. Yeah. So it was straight away. We, straight yeah, away photographer, yeah. straight away dress, straight yeah, away yeah. venue, yeah. Yeah. straight away rings. How much have we got left? Can we afford a videographer? Mm. Yeah. But that is gradually. It's, it's coming it's on gradually par with coming. photography yeah. now, isn't it? Have you got your it's photographer very rare. and videographer? Mm. And some people say, yes, I've got both, yeah. which is. Yeah. I've yeah. done some good. big wedding fairs. They, they're good fun. Mm. Yeah. They are good fun. I've done one in Mercedes World, which was really oh, right. good. Okay. In uh, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere. I'm sorry, <laughs> but, um, somewhere it was really, country. it was really good. It was fun, mm. and like I got a lot of people that were like inquiring. So I did book quite a lot with that. But I'm just like, mm, is it worth it when you're paying like eight hundred pound? Yeah, to be there for mm. four hours mm. when actually your main thing is your photographer and videographer. Mm. If I just push, for example, if I had eight hundred pound. And I promoted that more on Facebook, which I don't do. I don't pay for any promotions. Mm. But could you use that eight hundred pounds better? Mm. And I think that's important. Mm. It's not just that; it's all the advertise, like the banners and the you know all the all the stuff yeah. that you've got on your stall as yeah. well. That is is the expense but you've, as well. You've cracked it with, with Instagram, mm. and that. so if you're getting your custom through there, then there's no need to do it. Yeah, you know what I mean, so yeah. so you've been on. This isn't your first podcast. Well, it is my first actual podcast. Okay, so yeah. what, what happened before so then with it the was, um, Unfiltered Bride? The Unfiltered Bride was like a tour. So I drove to Wales and they had like a like a big party, basically. Mm-hmm. It was meant to be like a reception, but for like nearlyweds. Yeah. So there was um, like raised boards and like like all the interiors and stuff as well, cake. So like businesses were promoting themselves but mm. in a giant party. Right, okay. It was really good. So... Everyone got a free illustration. I was sweating. It oh. was so hot and everyone was just so drunk. And they were like, can we have it? And I'm like, I've literally got about 80 people to draw. <laughs> and like, your hands like this. Yeah. <laughs> you by yourself? Um, my partner was taking the pictures. Right, okay. And he did try and colour him, but I was like... No, no, give us that many times. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, it's a really good try, but uh, <laughs> leave that to me. Come yeah. to for try. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, but it was good fun. Yeah, oh, it was nice. in Wales. So many people booking me in Wales. I'm going to Wales tomorrow. Excellent. After oh. work, yeah. Oh, cool. Blimey. Yeah. Do you see your husband at all? Oh, sorry, your boyfriend. Is it husband? Don't, boyfriend, not husband. Boyfriend. Yeah, oh, yeah, remember? Yeah. <laughs> you don't, you don't, I bet you don't see him at all, do you? No, what? not really. Well, oh. I do, but not much. He's got his own gym in London, so. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. He's living at large without me. <laughs> so he works in the gym, does he? Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So it keeps him busy and I'm busy all the time. Perfect. That's it. Oh, whenever, That's the per- whenever, the perfect whenever, marriage. <laughs> whenever I am with him, he's barbecuing. So oh, right. it's an obsession. It's actually a bit much. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Don't even ask what's in my fridge right now. <laughs> what's is in your one, fridge right now? Is, is he one of those weirdos <laughs> that sort of will go out in the snow and steal barbecue? Oh, yeah. If there was a chicken nugget in the freezer, he'd go outside and barbecue it. No, 100%. <laughs> Everything goes on the barbecue. I'm like, George, it's freezing. When we first moved into our house, it was so cold. I had, an, like, you know, them oodie things yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. He's barbecuing in an hoodie, slippers, <laughs> chat I was literally like, this is this is a lot. And we didn't even have garden furniture. We were in like camping chairs. We don't even camp. Like it was all a lot. <laughs> and he's just sitting there with his one yeah. chicken nugget. <laughs> we had a barbecue last Saturday where his um, <coughs> mum and dad came over. And I was like, do you want to practice women? So I brought all my pens out and we were all oh, doing really? that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It was good. Oh. See, that could be another idea. It's where Party. you could teach. Teach children. Oh, Hindus. Mm. Hindus. That's, this is my next oh, thing I'm Hindus. trying to cut. God, we, we need to stop. Write it down, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Co- copyright Cherrywood Podcast. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, that would be brilliant if you had all the hens and you were teaching them how yeah. to do it. And and then they can go and then create their own business and do exactly the same as you do. Yeah. Well, my, my partner's mum is a Wibble with me. Oh. She, she's a, she's a colourist. So, oh. yeah. Well, well <laughs> she's going to laugh that you laughed at that <laughs> because she was like, I don't know what to call myself. I can't say colourina. I'm a colourist. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. Rigid. <laughs> Moving it up. I'm I love that. <laughs> Let's try and find another name. What's her name? Vi. Vi. We're going to try and think of another technical name for you. <laughs> but a colourist sounds very good. Colourist is good, but it also sounds like you're doing hair. She said. Oh, there you go. There go then. It. She's a colourist. <laughs> <laughs> She's a oh, spe- spectrum applier. Oh, <laughs> That sounds spectrum good. Applier. Mm, I'm the spectrum applier. Mm, no. no. No? That sounds a little bit like you've got something wrong with you. She's <laughs> gone, yeah. I see what you mean, yeah. I'm going to put you on the spectrum yeah. and that sort of okay. thing. I'm the we'll have a thing. overlay yeah. analyst. Overlay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Marketing and IT. <laughs> We're going to digitally colour you in. <laughs> it's been oh, lovely yes. having you over. Thank you so Thank much. You Thank you so, so much, much for coming on. Oh, we've got to ask her what song. Yes. We got <laughs> we got the oh, stupid no, thing. Oh, I'm really bad with this. No, it's not a competition. <laughs> I'm hot already. Uh, no, it's your opinion. You certainly are. <laughs> um, so, coming on to it. <laughs> sorry, I've already come on to Nan. Um, so we just ask us if they want a song. We've got a playlist somewhere, which can't be found right. on, on Spotify. Yeah. No matter how much I try and share Someone's it, lost it, it cannot be found. But if you look at the details on, on um, what's it called, Our YouTube? Podcast. YouTube's details. Oh the my description God. <laughs> of this video's details, you'll yep. find a link and you should be able to find it there, but you just can't find it naturally by searching. Right. You, you Have I gone on about it just, enough? No, you just need to make it. It's called the Cherrywood Podcast yeah. Guest okay. Playlist. Right. Right. And I've put it. that in the search and you can't find it. Yeah. <laughs> so just follow the link below. Okay. Right. You, you just give us a song that you would oh like on the playlist. Right. right. Hang on. Give me a second. Mm. So it could be anything. Smack my bitch up or something <laughs> like that. Maybe not that, but it could be anything to do with drawing or colouring in, mm. or it could be something that you just Whatever love. you want. Or what you, because obviously you've got a first dance song. He just hasn't proposed, but you've already, you're a girl, you've already got a first dance song. I do. Yeah. But I can't, I can't say it because it's already gone viral once and I'm not bringing it back up. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Shall I ask Nan to pick? Yeah. yeah Nan. No, Nan can have her own. Yeah. Nan, Nan can, can have, have so I'm still giving you pressure. Oh, no. <laughs> what Nan. song would you like, Nan? <laughs> we'll meet again. <laughs> it's so rude. It's so rude. Oh, sorry. I don't know what song. Sorry. Huh? Oh, I used to play that in my band. I didn't see One of Ra- and Tina Rachel Tina. suggested it. Yes. Nutbush City Limit. Uh, not yes. Bush. They called it Nutbush. Nutbush City Limit. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're having a good time. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes. You got, okay. a bit of you got a bit of Tina Turner about you, Nan. Actually. <laughs> oh. I've got it. Nan's still going. <laughs> I've got my song. You have a think of what it is, the other one. I'll put Nutbush on for you. Yep, right. There's a background story. Oh, no. Uh, it's not a long one. Uh. So, with my wooers, right, Bus when we're in the stop. car. <laughs> Bus stop. Okay. How does that go? You better beware. That one. Does anyone know the way? Did you hear someone? That's that, is that Blockbuster? That is Blockbuster. <laughs> it's called Bus Stop, whatever it is. <laughs> is it because you've waited at one for a long time? You know? <laughs> I've got a story about Bus Stop, actually. And we're drifting now. My sister... <laughs> my sister went for a spell where she didn't drive until she was well in her thirties. And my brother-in-law is sort of half Welsh, half Australian with the weirdest accent. He's hilarious. Oh, and he hasn't driven. It. He's only ever driven in Australia when he was young. Mm. And they both went to work and he went off early and um, she went off an hour later and she's at the bus stop. She's looked and his dry cleanings hanging on the bus <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> but when she's there, there's loads of people. So she's been seen just nicking these clothes. And just oh, going, Honestly, God. it's my husband's like, <laughs> it's my husband's dry cleaning and he hasn't yeah. I yeah. love that. So, yeah. <laughs> right, okay, what's, right, yours? what's yours? What's the backstory okay. first? So when I'm with my woobers, um, woo. Woo. 
Um, <laughs> whenever we're approaching the um, fine, the fine venue. Drawing. Oh no! Okay, sorry. I'll oh. shut up. <laughs> sorry, the I was getting excited. Down, down, down. Down. No, <laughs> definitely not that one. <laughs> <laughs> whenever we're approaching the venue, one of my wooers straight on love on top Beyonce. We put the love oh, on top, yeah. and we all sit there. The volume, the volume, the volume <laughs> the goes volume. up, the, the volume. windows go down, and we get pumped to woo it up. Put, put your love on top, Beyonce. Yep. Yeah. Write that down, Rach. I've listened to it so many times, I don't know if I can listen to it okay. again right now. We're at it for you. Thanks. Absolutely. You won't be able to find it anyway in this mysterious <laughs> playlist that no one can find. It's just me and you listening yeah. to yeah. the playlist. It's just me listening to it on my phone, on a spare phone as well, because I've got a different Spotify on my phone. Well, you've got a promise when you do listen to it, right? It goes... You put my love on top, and then you got to go, woo! Okay. <laughs> I know what we do song. is we record ourselves on WhatsApp us sing it. Please. Yes, please, please do. And we do bus stop for Nan. <laughs> or, not or the push. wheels on the bus go round and round. <laughs> for Nan. <laughs> Once again, oh, it's been lovely having it? you on. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. so my Instagram at Woo Illustrations and my Facebook Woo Illustrations and my TikTok if you want to give me any advice is Woo Illustrations. <laughs> give you any advice? Yeah, I don't do know it. how to TikTok it up. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Right, <laughs> Not okay. on how to draw. Yeah, I, thought <laughs> I can draw. Is that what happens on TikTok? People No, just on the, the videos and that. I'm not quite there yet. Uh, they're just a lot shorter. That's all it is. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well. There we go. Cool. Thank you so much for coming down. Thank it's been you amazing. for having me. It's loved been lovely. Here. It's been lovely. And we heard you were excited to come on. Yes. Yeah, yeah go on, go alone now. No one will know. It's only a couple of thousand <laughs> listening. Nan's off to away. Is it away, Nan? Yeah, be careful. You've got to go through the steps. Sorry, down the steps. Past all those other bits. <laughs> you found it? She's gone. Gone away. There we go. <laughs> Well, that's Nan. her sorted out for the journey home. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for having thank me. It's so been much. so nice. Thank you so much it's for been lovely. present as well. And oh, we're, okay. we're staying in contact and yes. stuff like that. We always say that, but we don't. No, we oh. don't. We do, darling. <laughs> oh, we don't. Right. Not really. And we'll frame that up, you know, yes. because you didn't bring a well, frame. Well, not frame up. Whip it up. Whip it up. Woo! Woo. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, right. thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't know where that was, but that was from Rainbow. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>